Brady, bitch. Yeah, Mr. White. Yeah, Mr. White. Yes, yeah, science, bitch. Yeah, Mr. White. Yeah, Mr. White. What's up, guys? It's Kelly back with another video, and uh, I hope you liked that little, um, well, kind of thing uh, intro I made uh, from the beginning of the video. It took some uh, time, but uh, I enjoyed making it, so that was yeah, that was kind of fun. But this video is about making um, salmiac with ammonia and uh, hydrochloric acid, which is kind of dangerous if you don't know how to handle it but it's, you know you just gotta be careful with it and don't get it on your skin and that should be fine um, but you I just want to know that you could see in the intro that I put it in a pan like this this pot whatever this metal thing um, don't do that don't don't put hydrochloric acid in metals uh, because it is actually um, bites in the metal, it, you know, it eats it away, whatever you want to call it. It's uh, yeah, it's not not that great. But if you have something like this, and this is an old uh, can, this contains some lemonade syrup. Uh, this has some kind of layer in there. I'm not quite sure what it is, but. It can handle heat quite well. Uh, however, I managed to scratch it up, so that's stupid. So I'm not going to go above a certain level because the scratches came all the way to well here. But that's my mistake. But yeah, I'm just going to show you how to make salmiac. So one way to do it is actually to just combine the gases because. Actually, hydrochloric acid and ammonia are both uh, gases which are now dissolved in the water in this uh, in their bottles. But you can actually combine them, kind of like this, you know, just combining them, and you can see little wisps of white stuff, and that's your salmiac. And well, you can't really catch it or anything you know I don't have anything on my hand I can't grab it it's, it's kind of cool I'm trying to get the gas like into the other bottle a bit by squeezing it and now can I get it out like this no yeah, it's kind of cool um <laughs> you just have to be careful of this ammonia it's really stingy in the eyes it stinks it smells like cat piss because actually your body produces this and and uh, actually, when you like, you go to the toilet, and um, you know, your pee is yellow. Um, well, this has developed um, in your body a lot more than when your pee isn't yellow, and that's why yellow pee stinks a lot more. Usually, it's uh, because well, ammonia is nothing we can do anything with in our bodies. It's it's a uh, waste, but. If you combine it with hydrochloric acid, I will draw the uh, equation uh, on paper later, uh, you get salmiac, which is perfectly edible. It's quite fun uh, making little smoke effects with uh, salmiac. Obviously, um, we want to be able to eat it because it's edible. It's um, used quite a lot in candy, uh, so in candies such as... Um, uh, licorice or something that's still a strange name for, for something that is so great you know licorice that doesn't sound quite nice but uh, the ammonia is 5% or less and the uh, hydrochloric acid is 10% or less it means that well you're not really going to be able to do much with this smoke that comes off of it you can't really eat it so we need to do something else now what we can do is you can get a container uh, and make sure it's something like this um, or glassware I recommend you use glassware but uh, where I live I haven't found a way to get glassware uh, in two to three days shipping uh, 
which means not from China for a reasonable price because I found glassware but that's like 10 bucks shipping or from China and then it takes two weeks to get here and both are not really great options for me but anyways um, since we are using hydrochloric acid 10% or less and this is 5% or less I would recommend you use 2 to 1 ratio or 3 to 1 ratio because well doing this in metal is not great but you know this little layer will probably be able to survive the hydrochloric acid so I'm just going to pour some in just a tiny bit and that's it and I pour some of this in and already you can see some things happening maybe maybe not it's kind of hard to see now we just start like this and if you notice uh, you can't feel it but if you do this yourself and you feel it gets warm uh, which is quite funny it's an exothermic reaction then which uh, that's funny because I didn't know that uh, so it's uh, releasing energy which, which might make sense because you know, it's going from a gas to a uh, solid which is now in liquid um, but oh well so now we have this mixed up like this very scientific you know do this we're going to cook it which means we're gonna heat it and what will be left is um, what we want uh, somiac turn it on there we go so now this is heating up I'm going to be talking about um, ways you can make this uh, you can obviously just get some mm, industrial grade of these products and you know you can get a I don't know something you can catch your uh, Selmiac with and that's pretty cool but that's not uh, the easiest way to make the most but luckily you have China you can buy glassware for you know, two bucks and a bit of shipping and well the reason I'm, I didn't do that for this video is because I don't have the, that much time to make all of these videos and do what I want to do because you know now it's summer and I don't have that much summer time uh, make sure it's borosilicate glass which can withstand quite a bit of heat and you can use something like this or you know just a cheap little heater don't make it too hot and you will be golden and it has some bubbles on the bottom already and that's that's good that's good as you can see it's starting to boil which is good the water is evaporating off and we're going to see um, what we are going to be left with which hopefully is salmiac for some reason the electric thing uh, didn't work anymore like it, it it's still hot and still gets hot but it didn't quite heat the can well enough so I made one of my own alcohol burners a little while ago and that seems to be working quite well I do suggest you use actual glassware and yeah something that can be temperature controlled or you temperature control yourself but yeah this will work and there's still paint on the can which is you know shady but well you know what you're watching when you click on my channel after a couple of videos. God, I can smell the paint. Yeah, I'm trying to manage to flame a little bit. There's, you know, the paint coming off and stuff is not very good. I can see a slight discoloration, which is not good. I don't recommend you do this. Um, yeah. Oh, <coughs> God, that's bad. Uh, my idea didn't quite work. You can see that there's discoloration, which means don't eat it if it's not 100% pure crystal white. Don't eat it. It's dangerous. There can be anything in there that you don't know what it is. Don't do it. I'm giving it advice right now. Take it from me. You don't want to hurt your body. Don't try to eat it if it looks like this, for example. It needs to be 100% crystal white, what you would expect from salt. This isn't good. This is horrible. No, this is just horrible. The plastic layer couldn't handle the heat of the flame. 
And it came off. Admittedly, that was a bad idea. But, I did make what I wanted to make, but the point was. And that is this powdery stuff that I cannot eat. That's the stuff. That's good. You can eat that if you made it correctly. So use glassware. I thought, no, oh, give this a try. Bad idea. Um, let's go to the equation. This, mm, <laughs> this was a fun experiment, but yeah, glassware. You live and learn. So, if I want to write down the equation, uh, we take uh, ammonia, which is NH3, and we need to take hydrochloric acid. So we have uh, ammonia and hydrochloric acid, and they're both uh, uh, dissolved in water, like this, and that goes like this, that's mm, not really that much space here, but I guess I can make it fit, like so, it forms ammonium chloride dissolved in water, but nah, that's not so important. Um, and it's an exothermic reaction, which means that as soon as they, um, let's say, meet in the water, they form this almost immediately, as fast as it can, um, uh, in order to release energy. And this is what you can eat. This is a gas, uh, this is a gas, so if you um, uh, heat it up in glassware, this will evaporate off, this will evaporate off, you will be left with this, and that is perfectly edible as long as there is no contamination. I have an earlier batch like this, I, I ate it, I'm, I'm sorry, it was really nice. Um, just take it like this, you can see it's very very white that that's kind of how it needs to look um so yeah the badge or whatever you want to call it i tried to make in this video was horrible but that's okay because this is how to do it it's really easy um be careful if you have never tasted it before and you try to make this and want to eat this it's very strong <laughs> um and well that's about it I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and my failure and um, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!